Hello everyone, a uh, very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. This is your host Vaibhav. In uh, today's session of correlation and regression, we will be considering the price development in light of some retracement which we are seeing in the major currencies trading against the dollar. If we look at the price development so far, particularly for the European trading session, we have seen some pullback, some gains in the major currencies including Euro, GBP and other major currencies uh, like AUD and BB as well. These are uh, the developments after substantial decline was seen in the last two sessions, particularly after Mr. Powell's te testimony in the US Congress. After that, we had seen a sharp appreciation in the US dollar and, and then in yesterday's session, there was a subdued price volatility. There was not much of an action in yesterday's session with the consolidation. Now, after stabilizing on the lower levels, we are seeing some renewed buying, fresh buying happening, which is pushing these currencies higher against the US dollar. So let us now head to the J4X4, the newly released trading platform from the Dupascopy Bank SA. This is the Euro USD chart with uh, each candle period has been defined at five minutes. And along with that, we have these uh, SMA 12 and SMA 24 in place to look at the average prevailing price over last one hour and two hours respectively. To look at the price volatility and get the range right, we also have in place these uh, Donkey and Channel 24 and 48 candle period respectively to get us the price range prevalent over last two hours and four hours respectively. Now if we have to draw a inference, a meaningful take on these developments, if we want to look for the new trading opportunities, of course I think the most beneficial way to go around these development is going to keep looking for buy on dips in euro as long as lower levels of around 1.055 hold i think we will do well to keep looking for buy trades in the euro of course the momentum is not that strong the gains have been muted and i am also not expecting any big sharp move on either side the range is likely to remain narrow but even in this range we can always make 15-20 uh, pips while looking for optimum trade entry and exit point. So in that respect, the beneficial way, a uh, higher probability way, as I said, is going to be to short the US dollar. And then if that is your take, you have to determine whether the euro is the best instrument to buy or if we have better opportunities, better momentum prevalent in other major currencies. If we look at this uh, chart, here there was uh, again fresh rise, substantial rise after the US data, which caused uh, this spike of around 20 pips, but it wasn't really sustained. Again, we saw the reversal towards lower levels and uh, pull back again on the higher side. So there is an interesting scenario here with this range holding quite well. If we look at this immediate price action, it is struggling on the higher side, so there is uh, not much of an clarity on these uh, range being broken on either side as, as of now. So I think as long as this range holds, even for next hour or two, it will be better for us to keep looking for buy trades in the Euro USD with these levels of around 1.0555 to 1.056 playing a key role, playing an important role on the lower side. So if we see the price stabilizing and not much declining below this immediate swing low, we can always go for a buy trade in the euro. Now, if we have to determine whether to in other currencies like GBP or AUD, we will have to look at the timeline and the magnitude of gains or losses as is the case may be so that we can take a close look on these uh, developments and make an informed trading choice, informed trading decision. 
let's change it to GBP USD. It is taking some time to respond. All right. Let's consider GBP USD first. platform seems to be lagging a bit okay here we got this. now if we consider the charging for the GBP USD it is looking much more uh, on the bullish side in comparison to the euro the momentum for the euro is not looking that strong as we look at the GBP USD is charging particularly after the start of the European trading session. Here we saw this uh, substantial move of around 40 to 50 pips. And uh, after that, the GBP never really corrected towards this uh, prior swing low, whereas for the Euro, the correction almost took it back to where it started. So that is a important difference, which we will have to keep in mind. So, so in that, uh, scenario i think it will be better for us to buy the gbp instead of euro for any kind of trading opportunities in today's trading session here we have much better momentum appearing in the gbp for any kind of trade the buy side if you expect the US dollar to remain softer in the latter hours of the day then gbp is much more bullish in comparison to the euro now let's consider other major currencies like AUD, NZD, etc. For AUD, the gains were substantial, particularly after these uh, economic releases for the United States. But here also we are seeing much more decline. So these gains haven't really proved that sustainable as is the case with GBP. So even in comparison to the AUD, we have the momentum much more favorable in uh, GBP. So, taken together, all these uh, three major currencies, we have to keep the priority for the GB for GBP for any buy on dips trade. If you expect the dollar to get uh, stronger later in the day, then maybe you can go for the trades in AUD or for that matter Euro with uh, short selling opportunities can be kept in mind. Euro in particular haven't really made a new swing high after this uh, release whereas there has been a new swing high for the AUD as well as for the GBP. So Euro is uh, apparently the weakest of these major currencies trading against the dollar. So that is something which we can take note of and uh, think about these opportunities in light of these uh, correlational differences in these uh, major currencies. Because of the need speed, I think it is taking more time to load.
let's consider NZD USD. NZD is uh, trading in line with its uh, Asia Pacific peer AUD. There is a uh, better momentum in NZD in comparison to the AUD for that matter. It is not much different from the AUD but slightly on the better footing in comparison to the AUD. So that is something which we can keep in mind. So the first preference still remains with the GBP for any buy and dip trade and then we can put in the NZD just behind the GBP. Now we will have to invert the scale and then consider these uh, currencies like USD CAD, USD CHF and USD JPY. For USD CAD, the CAD has appreciated significantly, particularly in last half an hour. There has been these 50 pips uh, decline from these levels of around 1.338. Now the USD CAD is uh, closer to 1.377. And even at these levels, the momentum is clearly in favor of the CAD's appreciation. We look back in time. Earlier in the day, it wasn't really going anywhere. It was simply expanding its uh, range for most of the duration of the European trading session till the uh, substantial breach on the lower side unfolded. And uh, as we have this uh, break on the lower side, if we don't really see the USD CAD climbing past this uh, immediate prior swing low, which is likely to act as the near term resistance now, watch out for the levels of around 1.378 to 1.379 and if we don't really see any significant rise from these uh, levels we can go for the short sale trade while expecting the price to move below these immediate low and towards 1.375 or even below that if uh, not much further The USDCHF is also likely to be trading in a similar fashion. Here also the formation has been of higher lows and lower lows and lower highs. Of course, if we look at this uh, swing high, it was uh, higher than the prior swing high. But after that, again, we are seeing this uh, momentum in gears and declining substantially. So CHF is also appreciating, but the CHF is not uh, that strong not that bullish in comparison to the other major currencies for the timeline here we have seen this consistent decline but the substantial momentum substantial move was lacking even earlier in the day and uh, if we look at this particular mo movement it has been of around 30 pips so the momentum is clearly in favor of appreciation of the CHF but it is not that strong as is the case with other major currencies so we still have the opportunities which are likely to prove much better in the currencies like GBP or even for that matter CAD the CAD. Before we can pass on a final verdict of course we have to consider the major currency cross of USD JPY for the JPY, the day has been of uh, substantial appreciation after starting above 137. The USD JPY has uh, declined and even made a low below 136 level. Right now, it is in a consolidation phase on these lower levels. But if we look at uh, this price moves closely, I think even now the momentum is favor of the further appreciation of the JPY. But it is not looking that strong in comparison to the other currencies like GBP, CAD, and or for that matter, NZD. So we will have to put the USD JPY on the back burner in, in light of these um, consolidation movements happening. Or earlier in the day, it was one of the strongest currencies trading against the dollar. 
but uh, that is no longer the case so we will have to keep this changed scenario in mind and uh, adjust our choices accordingly so here also the momentum is uh, in favor of the jpy's appreciation uh, unless we have any significant uh, rise on the higher side beyond 136.5 we don't really have many more many reasons to bet on the appreciation of the us dollar but never say never the dollar can also stage a comeback and we should always keep that possibility in mind but we will have to of course uh, wait to see the signs of uh, initial upswing in the usd till we can change our mind so till that happens we will have to go with the flow and keep looking for the opportunities to short the us dollar is to short the us dollar now let's consider the equity segment where we will be particularly interested in these uh, US equity indices which are seeing increased volatility after the start of the North American trading session. For the Dow Jones, the rise of around 200 points has happened in last hour or so. So here the momentum is uh, clearly in favor of the bullishness in US equities after this extended consolidation in yesterday's session for the equities also new buying is emerging in uh, today's trading session so unless and until there is any decline below this uh, immediate swing low or levels below this days low we will have to keep up and uh, for uh, next couple of hours watch out how the price developments unfold on these current levels for the dough the levels of around 32,900 are going to be important if there is not much of a decline towards lower levels of 32,800 or thereabout, we will have much more reasons to believe in the strength of this uh, move and then maybe we can even go for a new initiation for a trade to go long in these uh, equity indices. But whether to buy the low or whether better opportunities are arising in S&P 500 or for that matter NASDAQ, we will have to carry out a correlational analysis then only we can make our mind in which particular instrument to go for a trade for uh, s p 500 the gains have been of more than half a percentage point even at the current levels it is showing the momentum which is not much different from the dow jones industrial average and if we consider the nasdaq the Nasdaq's gains of around one percentage point. So in terms of the magnitude, the gains are much stronger for the Nasdaq. So on that count, we can give the first preference to the Nasdaq for any buy trades to be taken. So watch out for the price developments of the Nasdaq over, la over next hour or two. And if it doesn't really decline much below 12,200, we can indeed go for a long trade around these uh, levels above 12,200 while expecting the moves toward 12,300 or even beyond that. So that possibility is looking quite strong on this current uh, rising scenario for the US equity indices. So that's all from my side for today's trading session. If any of you have any query or any idea to share do write to me in the feedback and i will be more than happy to take the discussion forward thank you all for joining in have a fabulous day ahead see you next time around till then goodbye